People often recommend AMD GPUs for the best Linux experience. In some of my other videos, the 7000 series in Linux was on par with Windows when it comes to games, at least when raster was involved. Today I'll put AMD's latest and greatest, that is the 9070 XT, to test in Linux using the latest kernel and open source MESA drivers and see if Windows 11 is besting two of the most popular Linux distributions out there, Arch Linux and Fedora 42. Windows 11 was updated with the latest patches and AMD GPU drivers and chipset drivers. Speaking of Windows 11, let me present GVG More. The sponsor of this video is a web store where you can find genuine Windows 11 CD keys. You can use my 25% discount code CG9 to snag a Windows 11 CD key. It will be cheaper than the official price. To buy one is easy, as you can see now on the screen. Once you completed the purchase, you will receive an email with the link where you can find your Windows 11 CD key. When you have the activation key, you can go to Windows Activation, click on Activation, enter your activation key and you're done. In the store you can find as well Windows 10 keys where you can use the same code CG9 and you will get a 25% discount on your purchase. GVG Mall has all the software products on sale, don't miss. I applied all updates to both Linux distributions. I managed to spend two consecutive days to test these two distros, thus reducing any driver or Proton version variation. Game mode was installed and enabled for both distros, and Steam, Latris and Heroic Launcher were the launchers used. Before moving to testing, let me mention some issues that I have encountered during testing. Using Arch, I was not able to test Master Hunter, as with these drivers, I was getting constant crashes, regardless of the translation layer used. Path of Exile 2 refused to work in Windows 11 on 4K, regardless of using DirectX 12 or Vulkan, but had no issues at 1440p, while both Linux distributions didn't have any problems. I changed a bit my usual format. I will start with the raster charts where I will analyze the performance and if you wish to see the side-by-side -side runs and settings used for testing, those will be shown after. At 1440p without ray tracing, Windows performs better in 8 games. But only Counter-Strike 2 shows a bigger gap, while in the other games the performance difference is small. In Marvel Rivals, there is an almost 5% performance gap in favor of Windows. This goes to show that when in CPU limited scenarios, Windows fares a bit better. And this is emphasized as well in Civilization 6, as at 1440p, the GPU isn't pushed to its full potential. Linux managed to snag a victory in Path of Exile 2, with Fedora holding a 5 frames per second on average advantage over Windows 11. In the games tested, on average, Windows was ahead of Arch Linux by a bit more than 5%, while over Fedora 42, it held a bit more than a 6% advantage, so nothing major. When it comes to the 1% low averages across all games tested, Windows had a 2% lead over Arch Linux, so you could say that these two operating systems are on par. At 4K, Windows kept its lead in 4 games, with Civilization 6 and Witcher 3 showing bigger gaps. There were no results for Windows 11 in Path of Exile 2 because of the issues previously mentioned. When it comes to the 4K averages, I removed Path of Exile from the equation, but Windows still had an overall performance lead of 7% over both Linux distributions. Now, the side-by-side -side runs. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming.
hungry a couple days a month, you'll save up enough. I heard it's healthy, too. Like detox or something. Yeah. Is your fault? It's Julio's blood on your head. They mustn't get away. Got that? Call out as soon as you see them. And then kill them. No! There's someone in front. They mustn't get away. Got that? Call out as soon as you see them. And then kill them. It's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. It's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. I wanted to include Assassin's Creed Shadows in the ray tracing comparison, but I didn't manage to make it work on Fedora 42, so I skipped this game. 
when it comes to Black Myth Wukong on Arch Linux for some reason when enabling ray tracing the desktop was crashing and after I got a hard freeze. I tried Proton G, Proton Experimental and Hotfix, all behaved the same, so I excluded this game from the overall results, but not the per game 1440p and 4k charts. Looking at the 1440p RT chart, we can deduct a pattern by looking at the free path tracing games. Windows has a huge advantage over Linux when path tracing is in the mix. With that said, even in traditional ray tracing, Linux is suffering when using open source drivers, as in Witcher 3 we still see a 30% performance drop. Overall, at 1440p, in these games, Windows 11 holds a huge performance advantage, sitting at around 70%. Increasing the resolution to 4K doesn't change anything. Actually, when using upscaling paired with path tracing, Windows increases its lead. There is room for performance improvements when using open source drivers in ray tracing scenarios in Linux. Overall, at 4K, Windows has a whopping 82% performance advantage over Fedora 42. Let's now move to the side-by-side -side runs. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. The writer... Ooh. Down sits in the old oak tree, ruins. Oh. <clears throat> Simply put, the open source Linux driver holds its ground when raster is used, but crumbles when enabling ray tracing. I do suspect that improvements will appear when MESA 25.2 will be released, but those are not around the corner. With that said, games crash on both Linux and Windows, on both AMD and Nvidia GPUs. I'm not really sure who is to blame here, the game developers or the drivers. When it comes to these two distros, I had less issues using Fedora 42 as opposed to Arch Linux. I still prefer Arch-based distros, but can't deny the fact that Fedora is a solid Linux distribution for both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. If you wish to see how these two distros fare using a NVIDIA RTX 5080, click on the video shown in the top right corner. Now, would I ditch Windows for Linux? To be honest, using the latest GPUs, Windows has the edge in performance and features available. Anti-lag 2 is not present in Linux, at least when using open source drivers. FSR 4 can be enabled in Linux, at least for now, and this is AMD's 9000 GPU series selling point. 
While gaming, I had driver-related issues on both operating systems, so there is no clear winner from this point. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below to help with the algorithm, and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.